but yeah, I mean, you know, let's, let's just be honest with what happened. You know, we were tripling as the size of a business. We were going exponential. We won a big award at Wembley. We, we probably thought we were unstoppable. Then the pandemic, then the uncertainty of where's this well going and who's going to be buying consulting and then the pipeline gets obliterated and you think, God, where are we going to go from here? So what can you do in those times? You just got to hold your nerve and think, right, tune into the vision. What was the vision? The vision was always to inspire a future work for my two children. That was always the mission. The vivid vision holds true, right? In actual fact, a lot of our messaging, a lot of the hard work that's gone on over the last couple of years has really started to come through. I feel in a you know, really privileged position that we're in a company now that we can actually definitely impact the future work, the future of business. So again, it ties the vivid vision really nicely into why SNS exists. What's the market telling us? Quick time to value consulting, small teams dropping in around permanence to co-create, co-execute, uplift, swap IP, keep tension in the delivery cycles. Uh, and then when we get to a certain level, we stand back and we lift up the organisation to go and lead without us. If you told me two years ago that we were going to take on a client, do nine months, nine months worth of transformation with them, uh, which is incredibly successful, and then exit without ever meeting them face to face, I'd have, I'd have laughed at you, right? But that's what we did. The best thing that can encapsulate the last four months was last Thursday um, when we had our uh, event, which Adrian was showcasing his new book, The Future Business Formula. And I was chewing on what was I going to say at the start? And all I said was, We're back, ladies and gentlemen, and I've really missed this. And it's yeah. 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 And the whole room cheered. You know, as a company, we've, we've had a great year. You know, we've got a great team, good people, energised, focused. We know why we're here, we know what we need to get done, um, and it's got purpose. So yeah, from that point of view, I can look back, it's matured us as a company, and we're far better off for it. Let's not underestimate all the new people that came in this year that jolted us out of the pandemic a bit. I think the energy the new people brought sort of slapped us around the face of the malaise you're in from working from home. Our clients have started to accelerate into the future. Um, we, you know, it feels like our time now more than ever. So if we think about the last four months, we've had uh, events in London, Manchester, across the Middle East, Riyadh and, 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 and Dubai. We've been delivering consulting engagements um, you know, across, across the UK. C clients are coming out going, ah, oh, you know, I've been watching your stuff, I've been reading your stuff. Um, that's, that really reflects on the kind of problem I got right now, we need to talk. Well, yeah, you've got our people absolutely pumped about where we're going, you know, great place to work, being scored 96% from, from your business, from your people, from your folk, happy days. You've got clients pouring back into the office, associates pouring back into the office, an award-winning consultancy for award-winning methodology that we designed during the pandemic, winning transformation of the year. If you'd have told me that at the start, I'd have bitten your hand off for it right now.